Hello everyone, Trina here. Welcome back to another day of 100 Days Project. I think we're on day six, seven. Um, so I've mixed up some of this green yellow and I'm gonna put this on the jelly plate. Let's put this over here. And I wanna see if I can print over the, with the image transfer. I can't see that. Let's move over a little bit. See if we can print over the image transfer with after we've laid down some jelly, a little bit of jelly. So I've got some ripped up paper here. I'm just going to take some of this off. Just kind of break it up a little bit. Give us some nice layers. Um, and I'm going to also go in with the palette knife a little bit. Just give it some, ooh, I've got some paint on there, good. I like that. Some lines. Hopefully we'll have a better result than yesterday's result, because yesterday's was kind of a disaster. Um, but that's a good thing about this project is that you get to come back to it. So I'm just kind of making some marks here on the plate. Okay, let's transfer this over. Okay, so let's see what we get. I want this pretty much at the bottom. And I'm using the um, Golden Open Acrylics. These are pretty transparent colors, so we're gonna see how this works. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Let's let this dry for a bit, and then we'll try the transfer. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna print some of the jelly. And that's, oh, it's smearing a little bit. That's weird, that shouldn't happen. Huh, interesting. I didn't think the acrylic would react with the alcohol, but apparently it does. But it's kind of cool. Like, I kind of like how wispy that is. Let's put some more down here. It's weird that it's reacting with the alcohol. But let's go with it. Okay, so... I think I got the right side. Yep, we got it. I don't know that I have enough alcohol ink on there, so let's just kind of press it out and see. Yeah, there's not enough. Okay, we're going to pull this up. I got distracted from the... Well, now I've done it. Get as close as we can. I wonder what happens if I like intentionally press some lines in there. Are you guys trying this technique? Have you tried it yet? I've been loving it. I'm probably using it too much, but I'm really in love with it. Okay, so let's see what we got. Printed over, just a little bit over that green. And that's kind of a nice effect. Got some smudgies, but okay. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to roll out some more on the jelly plate here. And I'm going to use a stencil. You can see I'm kind of being a little bit more painterly with it. 
Um, out. Deli paper. I'm going to press it down. I don't want it everywhere. Probably don't want my fingerprints in there either. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to go back in with some of this. to remove some of it. Okay, let's put this down. These are some techniques that I learned from Yates over at Yates Makes, Mark Yates. So you might, I will put a link up above if you want to check him out. Ooh, that's fun. Look at those marks. Yay, jelly plate. Okay, we're making good progress here. Now we get to decide what else we're going to do. So I'm going to lay down this piece of tissue paper that I printed off with, or drew on with, the Neo Color 1 wax crayons. Um, those are not water soluble, so they really work well for collage. And we're just going to use some matte medium. Press this down. It's not sticking very well. There we go. Just add a little interest. So there's another technique that I want to try. I'm just going to scribble on this paper. We're going to make some emboss marks through here with a jelly plate. up some black here with the green, added in some alizarin crimson, and some ultramarine blue. It's not really black, it's more of a just a really dark brown, but I think it's going to work. So let's start printing. I've discovered that I really like using my small jelly plate as a palette, and I don't want these lines to be too bold. So let's roll that out. Might need a little bit more paint than that. That's more of a green, like a really dark green. So then we're just going to press this down. Let's see if this works. see it. I think I want it just about right there. I'm gonna, oh, I've got paint on the other side. Oh, you can kind of see it a little bit. I think if I would use black, it would have been a little bit more 
uh, noticeable, but I like, I kind of like these subtle layers. Today I really wanted to be pretty subtle with my work, so um, let's move on. Okay, we've got the Payne's Gray watercolor. I'm gonna go in with the big mobby brush and just sort of add some interest. Ooh, that got a little blobby on me. Oops. Didn't mean for that to happen. Let's, let's just let it drip down. And clean up some of these a little bit. I don't really want it down here, like these big blobs, but I like those blobs. Is blobs the word? I don't think I want. Yeah. Let's try that again. I'm gonna add a little bit more color, maybe a little less messy. <laughs> and this mop brush is good for just making big, bold marks and creating some really fun, moody atmosphere. And so let's go back in with our palette knife a little bit. Let's scrape back in. Get some lines going there. Bring them down. Drip by. I sort of like these lines when I do this of They're real subtle, but I like them a lot. Adding just texture and energy. Because so often when I paint with watercolors, I feel like I get really bogged down in the idea of it. Let's take just some of this. I just scooped out some watercolor here for my little pan. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back to it. I was cleaning off my jelly plate and started playing around with the palette plate and realized I got this really cool green. So I thought it might be kind of fun print this on there as well and just see what we get. I'm just going in with the skewer, kind of break up those lines and then I'm going to go back with, take some of this off. I don't want all of this on there. I don't really want that to be a solid line. Okay, let's print this and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's do that. So we're printing over the paint and over the tissue paper. give us some really nice dark marks. It's subtle, but I like it. I think it's going to work. Okay, now I need to decide what else to do. Let's go in with the Indigo pencil from DeWent. Make some more marks. Ooh, that might be all it needs. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, well, maybe she ain't on me. I'm not gonna stop there. There. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of my Azo Gold. Color Shaper. too much of it today. Just a little swoosh. Um, let's go in with, let's try, oh, let's do the yellow. So we've got some little bits of yellow over here. Almost completely covered up that transfer, but that's okay. Um, let's add in some pink. a long way though. I'm going to add some of this English red to sort of bring that orange texture in. Sort of connect the top of the bottom a little bit. Let's add in some black. I put some right here. I just kind of want to bring it across a little bit. Maybe it back down okay so I think we're done um, I really like what's going on here the texture lines we make I think I want to play with that idea a little bit more in the next video um, I love these lines of course the black really brings it out a little bit the pink is nice I like the energy that I have going on here with the marks Kind of going around. Um, overall, this is a very successful piece, I think. Um, this one will be available in the art shop later today. Um, let's look at it with a mat. And here it is with the mat. Looks much better with the mat. I can't believe how nice everything looks with the mat. It's like it almost like takes all that white space and just sort of makes it expand and you focus right on the middle. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the video to the left. If you want to see more videos of mine, I will see you tomorrow for whatever day it is. <laughs> I think it's day 
8 tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.